let's just start on a Tuesday morning, getting into our bodies, relaxing our minds. So come to a standing position with your feet slightly closer than hip width apart. Close your eyes and just take a moment to breathe. Breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your mouth, taking a moment to be still. And then just coming into your body, just thinking about your foot position. Have you got equal weight through the front and back of your foot, left and right? Just maybe see if you can equal that out. Lengthening through your legs, maybe slightly engaging through the quads, slightly engaging through the glutes. Lengthening through the spine, switching on those core muscles. Draw your shoulders up, back and down, just to open through the chest slightly. Slightly opening through the arms, lengthening through the neck. And then just come back to your breath, breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. Both arms back to 90. And then just see if you can bring your right knee to tabletop. Back down. If you need to tap the floor, do. Up and 
down. Otherwise, if you can, just hover that foot off the floor. And uh, try and use your abdominals to draw your knee up towards your chest rather than just the hip flexor working. Keep those core muscles engaged. Engage the abdominals to drive that knee up. Shoulders back to 90. Good. Control. And then bring that left knee up and slowly back down. Engaging with the abdominals. Back down. Breathing in. Breathing out. Really good balance exercise. You've always got the option to tap your foot on the floor each time. Once more. And release that leg back down. Lower those arms. Roll those shoulders back. Right hand. 
Good, now straighten that right leg. Take your right foot to face forward. Good. And then turn your left foot out to the side. And then bend that left knee. Looking over that left hand towards the fingertips, really reaching with the arms, making sure that knee is going out in the same direction as your second toe. Hold that position. Lift that left heel up and down for five, four, three, two, one, release. Circle that front arm for five, four, three, two, one, the other way, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Flip that top palm, reach forward, and then reverse, and take that left arm over the top of your body. Keep that left knee bent. Nice stretch to the left side of your body. And back, arms wide. Straighten that left leg, both feet facing forward, release the arms. Good, well done. So adding in a few of those yoga elements to our Pilates practice today. Okay, so let's come back to a single leg stance position. So growing nice and tall, lifting one leg off the floor. So the leg you're standing on, I want you to soften that knee. Pop your hands on your hips. And then the leg in the air, so the right leg, is just going to push out to the side. So we're just doing your single leg skaters, right leg pushing out to the side. So that right leg pushes out and slightly back, engaging through those glutes. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Release the arms, straighten the legs. And now we're just going to roll forward, chin to chest. One vertebra rolling over the other. Reaching down towards your toes. You can soften those knees. Just go as far forward as is comfortable for you. Relax the head. Come back to your breath. And then keeping that head down, rolling up again, straightening through those legs, stacking one vertebra up at a time. So the last thing that comes up is your head, shoulders up, back and down. Perfect. Sinking back into our child, into our chair pose again. Knees bent, sitting back, raising those arms. Lift through the chest, look straight ahead for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hands to the floor and stick your right leg back and then your left leg back. Hold that long arm plank position. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Bend the right knee to the floor, left knee to the floor, feet together. Knees apart, sinking back into your child's pose position. Again with this, you can always sit on a cushion or have a cushion between your heel and your bottom to take the pressure off the knees. And then come back to that four point kneeling position. So again, kneel, kneeling on a cushion might be more comfortable if you're struggling with your knees. Okay, so here, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Let's just go into our cat cow. So dropping that head, rounding through that spine into that angry cat pose. Pushing the floor away, fingers wide, and then drop down. Lifting the head, lifting the chest. And reverse that curve. Once more, reverse that curve. Find your neutral position. Tuck your toes under. We're going to push back into your downward facing dog. So arms nice and straight, legs straight, head relaxed. Pushing those heels towards the ground. Maybe bend your right knee, push your left heel to the floor. And then swap, pedaling those feet out right and left. Both legs straight, come back down onto your hands and knees. Perfect, okay. So here, we're just gonna focus on raising alternating arms, but really controlling the movement. So really lengthen through the spine, shoulders down and back, engaging the core. Very slowly lift your left arm forward trying to maintain that neutral position, keeping that body centered, head lifted, shoulder blade muscles engaged, core engaged. Release that left arm down, right arm reaching forward, hold, seeing if you can correct your position very slightly, release that arm down. Left arm forward again, breathing, hold. Release, and right arm forward. So we're now going to come in 
into just your legs and then we're going to combine the two and then we're going to combine with a little bit of oblique work. So now just your right leg pushing back, making sure that spine stays lengthened, you're not arching through your back, your core's engaged, switching on through the glutes, making sure your shoulders haven't dropped, your head hasn't dropped, bringing that right leg in, pushing back with the left leg, And even those little micro adjustments can just help correct the position, engage the muscles a little deeper. Bring that left leg in, right leg back. Lovely, engaging, breathing, quality of movement. Right leg in, pushing that left leg back. Leg in. Good. Now coming into our Superman pose. Left arm forward, right leg back. Hold that position. And now I want you to bring your right knee and your left elbow to touch and then lengthen back out for five, four, three, Two, getting those abdominals working. One, and reach, hold, relax. Lovely. Find that neutral position again. Right arm forward, left leg back, hold. Right arm to left knee for five, four, three, two, one and hold, release. Feet together, knees apart, sinking back into that child's pose position once more. Coming back to that breath, slow, relaxed breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. back up onto your hands and knees once more. Tucking those toes under, we're going to go into our knee hover. Again, push the floor away, engage the shoulder blades. Draw that navel up towards your spine to engage the core. Lift the knees low off the floor for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. And now push back into your downward facing dog, strengthening those knees. Nice, reach through the spine, through the arms, pushing those heels down for five, four, three, two, one, release. And now we're going to combine the two. So we're going to go 10 second knee hover straight into a 10 second downward facing dog. Back to a 10 second knee hover and then relax. Okay? So, you're all warmed up for this. You're going to be fine. So tuck your toes under, engage the core, lift the knees for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, push back into your downward dog for ten. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to a knee hover. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Perfect. Well done. Right, let's come into a seating position. All right, doing nicely. So, sitting up nice and tall, feet hip width apart. Arms out in front of you. We're 
You're going to take five seconds to roll down as slowly as you can, chin to chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the head, arms stay over the top. Bring those knees a little closer towards your bottom. Sorry, heels a little closer towards your bottom. Keep those arms above your head. Feet tip width apart. Tilt your pelvis back. Scoop your tailbone in one vertebra up at a time into your shoulder bridge. Squeezing those glutes together. Pushing your heels into the floor. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly roll back down. Release. Bringing your right leg up to tabletop. Good, 90 degrees. Now just that right leg, I want you to straighten out while you take your left arm behind you. And then bring that right leg back in as you bring your left arm back in. The right arm stays still. So left arm back, right leg straight. Coming back to the centre. Give myself a bit more room. Good. Breathing out. Breathing in. That right arm and left leg stay still. You're maintaining a neutral position of your spine. So keeping that lower back gently resting against the floor. Navel drawn towards your spine. Moving with your breath. Come back to that neutral position. Now I want you to drop your right leg out to the side whilst taking your left arm out to the side. Keeping your left knee and right arm still. Come back to the centre. Breathe out once more. Breathe in. Really focus on that left knee. Don't let that left knee move. Back to centre. Use your core to stabilise your trunk and pelvis. Last one. Back in. Release that leg down. Bring your heels a bit closer to your bottom again. We're going to tilt your pelvis, roll up, vertebra by vertebra, up into that bridge position again. Dig those heels into the ground, engage the glutes. Take your right arm back and your left arm forward and then swap for 10, 9, keep that pelvis steady, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, both arms straight above your head and slowly lower that bottom back down, vertebra by vertebra. Good, now we're going to go to left leg up into that tabletop position. Both arms stay above your head. This time your left leg goes out straight as you take your right arm back behind your head. Come back to centre. Move with your breath. Breathe out. Breathe in. Keeping that left arm and right knee super still. Good, now coming into our hip twist, left leg out, right arm out and come back. Breathing out, breathing in. And then 
just keep that right leg super still. It will want to move to the right to help equalize and stabilize. Once more, breathing out, breathing in, release that leg down. And then bring those feet slightly closer to your bottom again. Roll up once more into your shoulder bridge. Hold that position. Little pulses down and up. Dropping the hips, pushing them back up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Little pulses forward and back with the arms for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, arms still, roll down, vertebra by vertebra, back onto the mat. Good, have your right knee into your chest. Take a moment. Coming back to that breath. Release that leg down, hugging your left knee into your chest. And coming back down. Perfect. Okay. Right, let's come back to our abdominals a little bit more. <clears throat> so we're going to go back to our double tabletop position, feet together, knees slightly apart, hands behind your head, elbows stay wide, making sure that rib cage doesn't flare up towards the ceiling, creating an arch in your spine. Draw that rib cage down to keep your lower back resting on the floor. Keeping those elbows wide, we're just going to crunch up and back down for 10, keeping knees over hips, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release the head, release the arms, coming into our scissors, alternating legs, Tapping the floor with control, making sure that pelvis stays in neutral. You're not twisting, your back isn't coming off the floor, and moving with your breath. Breathe out, breathe in. See if you can lift your head 
and just walk your hands up your leg anymore and hold. Keep breathing. Slowly walk your hands back down, lower your head. Release your arms down at your side. So I want your knee to be straight. If that means it's straight up to the sky or a bit further forward, that's absolutely fine. Your right leg is going to stay completely still. We're just going to circle that left leg round for five, slow and control, four, three, two, one, and change direction, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring the right leg up to tabletop. Extra challenge. If this is too much, go back to the level before. Circle that left leg, keeping the right leg still for five, four, three, two, one, change direction, five, keep that right leg still, four, three, two, one, hug both knees into your chest, perfect. Lower both legs back down. Now let's do the same on the right, bringing that right knee up and straighten that leg up to the sky, stretching out the right hamstring. Lift the head and just see if you can walk your hands any further up the leg to feel a slightly deeper stretch. Slowly walk your hands back down, rest the head on the floor. Keeping that leg super straight, left leg bent, arms by your side, relax the shoulders, head and neck, circle that right leg round for five, four, three, two, one, change direction, five, four, three, two, one, Hold, bring your left leg up to tabletop. Circle again for five, four, three, two, one. Good, change direction. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Bring those knees into your chest once more. Brilliant. <clears throat> well done. Okay, let's turn over onto our sides. Breath 
engage in the core. You're going to keep it there in the hover position and then bring your knee to your chest and then kick your leg back so that your thigh is level with the rest of your body and then forward and back keeping that knee and hip hovering at hip height. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, back to a hover. And now big circular motions through that right hip. Big movement up, back, down with that knee. Moving through the hip, keeping the knee bent. Change direction of that circle, big circle. Feeling those glutes fired up. Keep breathing. Last one. Back to a hover. I know your glutes are probably burning, but last one, I want you to straighten that leg so that it's in line with the rest of your body and then bend it back to a hover, push it back straight, knee bent, straight and bent. Good, one more, bend and straighten and release that leg down. Perfect, well done. Right, coming up onto your elbow. So your knees are bent in line with the rest of your body. We're going to come up into our side plank, lifting those hips, lifting the arm, and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Good, so now we're going to do the same, but with the top leg straight. Okay, bottom leg bent, lift up again and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release. We're going to keep that top leg straight. And then we're going to do five leg raises, okay? So again, make sure elbow under shoulder, spine in neutral, core engaged. Lift yourself up. If you need your hand on the mat, that's fine. Lift the leg for five, four, three, two, one, release. Well done. You've always got the option to go back to just the hold. Okay? Last one, we're going to lift the leg and crunch knee to chest. Okay? So again, you've got different levels. We've done four, so you just do the level that's right for you. So lift up again. Knee to chest. Five. Out. Four. Out. Three. And two. And one, and release. Perfect, well done. Let's just come into a kneeling position for a minute. So we work that left side a fair amount. So I want you to take your right hand onto the floor, leaning over, reaching to the right, and then take that left arm over the top. Feel a good stretch on the left side of your body. If you want to rest your elbow on the floor to get a deeper stretch, you can. And then push 
push yourself back up. Let's just do a bit of movement through our necks because it can be quite tough on the neck as well. So just take your chin to your chest and look up to the sky. Back to the centre. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. Back to the middle. Take your ear to your shoulder to the right. And over to the left. Feel the difference between the two sides. Which side is feeling tighter? Does it equal to the side you just worked? Right, let's even you out. Same on the right side. So starting with our cells lying flat on our side. Knees bent, feet together, hips, knees, feet stacked one on top of the other. So we're just going to start lifting that top leg up and down from the ankle and the knee with control, keeping that core engaged. Good, back to a hover. Bring that knee to the chest and then push that leg back. Breathing in and breathing out. So as you move the leg, make sure the spine stays in that neutral position. If you're not sure, just feel. So you shouldn't really feel much movement in the lower back. two more. One, back, two, back and release. Wow, this side is harder for some reason today. Okay, so last one is just those big circular movements through that leg. So you're going to lift the leg up to a hover, big circular motions through that hip for five. Four, three, two, one. Change direction for five. Four, three, two, and one. Release down. Perfect. Good job, guys. Right, coming up onto our side plank. So we do both knees bent, top leg straight, then a lift if you can, and then a crunch if you can. So four different levels. You can either stick with level one four times, or do level one and two twice, whatever comes, whatever feels right. So shoulder level with your, uh, your elbow, nice and tall, lifting up into your bent knee side plank for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Good, straighten that top leg out. So again, your bottom leg bent, your spine is long lift for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
five, four, three, two, one, release. Not letting that shoulder collapse. I'm just gonna fold that like over. <clears throat> Good. Now we're gonna lift that top leg five times. Lift the body and lift for five. Four, three, two, one, release. Good job, you're doing really well. Last one with a crunch, knee to chest. Getting your breath back, making sure both hips are facing forward, lifting up, lift that top leg, crunch. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good, coming back to that kneeling, sorry, cross leg position. Stretching out the right side of your body now. So reaching that left arm out and then reaching the right arm over the top if you want to bend that left elbow. And just come back to those relaxed breaths. And come back up. Good. Just taking the ear to the shoulder again. And maybe look slightly down towards the floor. Take the neck back to the middle, over to the other side, looking down towards the floor slightly. Back to the middle and up. Good. Stay in this position, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you, twist yourself around to the left. As you breathe out, see if you can twist a bit more. As you breathe in, see if you can grow a bit taller. Back to the center over to the other side. Breathe in, grow tall. Breathe out, twist. And release. Perfect. Right, coming back into a line position. On your back. Just finishing off with this little stretch, figure of four stretch, right ankle over your left knee. And then if you can, bring your left knee up to your chest, hold behind the left knee. Get a nice stretch in the right glutes. your chest, left ankle crossed over, feeling the stretch in the left glutes. Release that leg down. Perfect. And now just take your time to roll back up and stand up tall, rolling through the spine. Coming into some final shoulder rolls. And reverse those rolls forward. Okay, well done. Good job. We did quite a lot today. 
our oblique, so along that kind of lateral 